Hi everyone, Deep Thinny Breath Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new L. Michaels Affair and Black Thought record, Glorious Game. New collaborative album from lyrical legend best known for his time in the game-changing hip-hop band The Roots, Black Thought. Also L. Michaels Affair, a group spearheaded by producer Leon Michaels, which if you listen to their projects such as Yeti Season and Adult Themes, you're gonna hear a lot of funk, a lot of soul with a kind of vintage flair. Sounds exactly like the kind of thing you'd catch in a 70s movie soundtrack, or a hip hop beat from the 90s if it were chopped up in the right way. So of course Al Michael's affair is no stranger to working with hip hop artists, or putting out projects like Enter the 37th Chamber, which was essentially an instrumental tribute to the musical world crafted by the Wu-Tang Clan. So in a lot of ways when you look at the respective backgrounds of Black Thought and Al Michael's affair, them crossing over just makes so much sense maybe a bit too much sense. Because I think back to the recent collab that Black Thought had with Danger Mouse, Cheat Codes, which is not a perfect album by any means, but there was so much risk and excitement involved in that record because both Danger Mouse and Black Thought have such a huge X factor, as a lot of the lyrical chemistry that Black Thought cooks up in his own head is just out of this world. And you know Danger Mouse is gonna get him over some beats and textures that are kind of outside of his comfort zone. Meanwhile, the vibe of Glorious Games seems uh, very, very, very familiar. Kind of like Michaels was eager to immediately compliment the idea of what a Black Thought song should or could be. And in the process of that, I think we miss out on the real potential of albums like this to see the artists involved in a new light as they're drumming up something that they couldn't have created separately. This might kind of be a record the purists or hip-hop conservatives get the most out of, because I don't think the music here adds all that much to the respective catalogs of Michaels or Black Thought. In comparison, those Streams of Thought EPs way back in 2018 felt way more essential and hard-hitting. Take the title track featuring Kirby, for example, where between the grooves and the flows, it kind of feels like everybody is operating on autopilot, even if the vibes here are supposed to be kind of relaxing and psychedelic. How is this thing the lead single? And the instrumental on Hollow Way sounds even more hollow and thin. There is a beat switch in the second half, but for the most part, it just kind of feels like the song it jarringly switches into a much better track. I prefer the much more cohesive cuts on this thing, like I'm Still Somehow, which, yes, is one of the subtler moments on this project, but still hits deep emotionally. With some weary vocal harmony samples on the beat combined with some record crackle, that's topped with Black Thought's drugged out delivery as he rips bars about uh, surviving as an artist and as a black man. The whole track is an internal monologue that really puts you in his head. And while I do wish it was a bit longer, there are other cuts on here where, thankfully, Black thought goes a bit more in depth. Whether it be on the hit of nostalgia he brings on the weather, where he poetically reminisces about the old days in terms of his upbringing, his neighborhood, musical memories, and does so in a way that is so vivid it's like you're going through the flashback with him. Then there's also That Girl, which is a cut where Black Thought makes his romantic intentions loud and clear with some wonderful poetry. A queen nightingale and her wings whisper the sky a tale. The sun and moon are her biggest fans. They send her mail. Plus the song features one of the most unique beats on this project, too, with these choppy, fragmented bits of instrumentation that you would assume are just too blocky and hard for a song that's trying to be uh, this lovey-dovey and sensual. But there's a beautiful contrast aesthetically that goes on with the chorus thanks to this lush rush of orchestral instrumentation and vocals. We kind of get the flip side of this narrative later on the project with the song Miracle, with Black Thought spitting about being burned in the game of love, describing the ways in which he kind of bent over backwards for someone. You really get the pros and cons of wearing your heart on your sleeve with this record. I'd also like to dive into the killer closer on this record, Alter Ego, where Black Thought shows himself outrunning age, depression, and uh, feelings of being jaded, and goes through what gives him the mentality to kind of keep his passion, keep his drive going. He essentially argues that staying sharp on your game and uh, being inspired requires work and effort, which at least in this case required saying goodbye to his alter ego, which could be a commentary on being ego 
egotistical in general, but also just, you know, being authentic. There are a few spots on this LP where Black Thought may not give the best performance, but at least the song structure and the production shine, like in the case of Protocol, which has a smooth funk beat to it, as well as a sharp chorus reigned by Sun Little. And there's also Alone, whose vocal harmony breaks make for a fantastic chorus between the verses. There's a tasteful reprise worked into the back end of the record as well. And that's pretty much this project overall. It's not an amazing record, but certainly a solid one. I wouldn't say it's as essential or as mind-blowing or as exciting as Cheat Codes, but I'm still glad it happened and I'm still glad I listened to it. I guess I wish it pushed things a little bit further because I can't help but think there was a little untapped potential uh, between these two coming together. Again, good project, but kind of a scant one that I think could have dug deeper. Feeling a decent seven on this one, Tran. Zishin, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Black Thought, L. Michael's Affair, of forever.